Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for coming out to support Nora Summer Camp in her run for Woman of the Year for the Rhode Island chapter. My name is Elizabeth Perry, and I am the Senior Campaign Director for the chapter in Rhode Island. So thank you again for your support of our campaign, of the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, and of Nora. First off, I want to thank the National Capital Chapter for their support. As you can tell, I could not be there this evening, and so Rhea and her team at the National Capital Chapter really stepped up to the plate and helped us out um, by representing LLS and, in turn, the Rhode Island Chapter there this evening. So thank you to everyone there from the National Capital Chapter that is in attendance. We truly appreciate it. We um, love the fact that we have such great teammates throughout the country to help us further our mission. So thank you again. Secondly, I want to say congratulations to Nora. Um, obviously, I cannot see the event, but I know from all of the planning conversations that we have had that this event is going to be absolutely amazing, and I know the hard work it was for you and your campaign team to put together. So congratulations on a wonderful event. I cannot wait to see all the pictures. I know for a fact they're going to be amazing. Um, I also want to thank everyone that donated their time and efforts for this evening, the bands, the designers, the PR people, Again, Nora's campaign team, I know what it's like to put a gigantic event together, so I understand the hard work and determination it takes. I also understand that everyone has their own full-time jobs on top of putting together this event. So um, thank you so much for your effort. Thank you so much for your commitment to Nora and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. It does not go unnoticed and is truly appreciated. In a few seconds, I'm actually going to introduce to you the Rhode Island Boy and Girl of the Year. Um, but first, I just want to give you a little bit of update on the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. We have recently released a campaign called Someday is Today. And the reason behind that campaign and the reason behind those words, Someday is Today, is that we believe we're living in an extraordinary moment. We're building on amazing technologies that took decades to develop, and LLS is helping to make and further discoveries that provide every blood cancer patient with safe and effective therapies. The years people have invested in us and the funds they continue to raise for us are bringing healing therapies once thought impossible. Simply put, we're closer than ever to cures for many kinds of blood cancers. We are on the brink of historic breakthroughs that will literally change people's lives and the urgency for that is critical. We can't stop now. We call this approach reasons to believe, and the facts tell an overwhelming story of progress that is both inspirational and unbelievable. It's motivating to doctors, researchers, employees, donors, survivors, and every individual who impacts our success. Because of our work, blood cancer will never be the same. Because of your determination, your dollars, and your efforts, LLS will have cures today, not someday. So I want to thank you all again so much for being here this evening, and I want to introduce to you Lamar and Hannah, the Rhode Island Boy and Girl of the Year. Lamar and Hannah are both 10 years old. They both were diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia at different times in their lives, but their stories are different. The road that they had to go through in their blood cancer battle is different, but the end result is still the same. They are here with us today because of the amazing support of their family, the wonderful support of organizations like the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and the wonderful support of you. So thank you so much. Again, I apologize that I could not be there this evening, but I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful event. Have a blast, and Nora, best of luck. I know you'll do a great job. This is Hannah Wharton. <laughs> She's nine years old. She loves sparkles and glitters. <laughs> and she was diagnosed with leukemia when she was two, three weeks away from her third birthday. And she went through two and a half years of treatment. And then she had ten months off, which was wonderful. And then she relapsed, and it made her sad. And then we couldn't get into remission. And things got a little tough, huh? Uh -huh. And then when um, we couldn't, we found out that she needed to have a transplant instead of going back on chemo. So then she she was brave and strong <laughs> and we and found fought it. fought like a tiger. And fought like a tiger, <laughs> that's right. And she beat it twice <coughs> and now we're done. <laughs> <laughs> 
to thank everybody for coming tonight. Thank you for all your dedication and support of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Um, thanks for all your help to try and find a cure. Um, we appreciate it so much because <laughs> no child should ever, or adult, or anyone should have to go through this, and no parent or other caregiver should ever have to feel helpless and insecure. Um, when we found out Lamar was sick um, through our own pediatric doctor, they initially thought he had um, anemia. So they drew blood, and uh, we got a phone call a few hours later that we needed to go to the office. And there they told us that Lamar had leukemia. From that point, we went to Hasbro Children's Hospital. Uh, Lamar was admitted for a estimated month and a half stay. Um, his father and I stayed at the hospital with him through that month and a half. Uh, he was put on treatment for leukemia, and during um, the treatment, he got very sick, and his counts dropped so low that he wouldn't be allowed to be out in the world in public because he was so um, immune deficient that he could catch anything. So he was quarantined in his room for a month. He finished treatment in February 16th of this year, and for the last three to four months, he's tested clean, and he's been healthy and growing, and he's gained 10 pounds and grown about five inches, and as you can see, he's healthy and handsome and <laughs> runs around, and he's doing really, really well. Thank you for coming here. I can't wait to see you, and thank you for volunteering.